Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Sagis, welcome to February readings. These are the first series in February 2023. Quite a month, loves. Let's see what we got. Who is coming towards you? What is on the way towards you? Because sometimes might be a person on the way towards you, love-wise speaking. And sometimes might be a situation, might be an energy that you might not be completely aware of it. This is a general reading, loves. My highly resonate with you. Might be here and there a message as well. Sometimes some readings have just one single message, one storyline. And sometimes we have multiple messages. Take it accordingly, loves. As well, I want to say thank you for all of you who are coming in and enjoying with these energies. As well, taking the time to listen these messages. Much, much gratitude. So let's begin, loves. Sagis, Sagis, what do we got? All right, one overarching energy for you, Sagittarius. Knight of Swords justice ten of swords ten of pentacles yeah somebody here doesn't feel that something is fair okay could be a uh, libra gemini aquarius look at this air energy here so indeed here there's something here feels like it's not fair some of you could be someone rushing back in after you let them go or the situa or situation ended and probably didn't end it very well. Flip the energy. Might be you rushing towards someone. But it seems here that someone feels like I'm entitled to this. I'm entitled to something. As well, there is a, a Sag here that ends a period in their life that was very very heavy and i feel here could be very heavy on the the mental level and believe it or not sag i feel here the healing it's really really important Yes, you left, whatever it is. But something here, it's kind of like... There is residual energy from whatever you've been through. Let's see what this is about, loves. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. The Emperor and the High Priestess. So look at this, loves. I have Aries, Libra, and Piscean here. As you see here, the Aries and Libra, you know, the yin and yang energy, the opposites. Venus and Mars. This month, however, know that all the planets are going direct. So there's something here after a long time coming through. Because I see here you you're done waiting or it's kind of that energy of when I'm done waiting that's coming the seven of pentacles seven of swords lovers four of cups Star, Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the 
and the chariot. So look at these three major arcanas and the other cards around it. It's quite like from an extreme to another, from one side to another side. As I always say, loves, be aware what you wish for, because you might have it, you might get it. Even you don't feel you can. So all these major arcanas, the lovers, star, chariot, really speaks of choose healing and movement forward instead of trying to repair certain things that are gone, that are not there anymore. The Ten of Swords here, Five of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. There was an energy here that really were calling you to let it go and move forward. With this wheel of fortune, the universe were guiding you if you were left out in a cold, if you were needed to let go something. You know or you knew that you needed to move forward. There is a, some sort of conflicted energy. And that conflicted energy is like why I needed to go through this. Why me? Instead... The question got to be what this is to teach me. And I feel here this were very strongly to teach you to learn to balance yourself, your thoughts. And whatever here were to not hold on. Yes. Certain things doesn't feel unfair. But the wheel is turning and tells you you have much more to gain than to lose. So instead of focusing what are you lose or lost out there, focus on your gains. You know, that's the shift. Because what you think, what you do, it's what you more attract. The Knight of Swords here, strength. You are stronger than you think. You can overcome all this, even though it doesn't feel it's fair. The Emperor here, speaks of four of pentacles my ego doesn't let me move forward or see the movement forward eight of cups but i will realize soon enough that i need to let it go and not be or not hold on 
the ego and make the decision what my intuition tells me. So that is the shift here for you loves this month to learn and pay attention to on the things that ego brings or your intuition brings. And as well, that the universe is telling you, I am building a whole new Sag or a whole new version of the Sag for what is coming next. It's kind of somebody could not see their strength or their worth or their value to move forward. As well here, loves, we have Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. The one missing is Eight of Pentacles. Yes, we do have the Four of Pentacles, which is 4-4. Four, four. But Eight of Pentacles is about to putting effort into a situation, to work on certain things and learn those things. So whatever here you are struggling, there was a learning process for what is next. For what you are going to become next. High Priestess here brings Page of Cups, Death, Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords, and Eight of Pentacles. Look at this. So here we are, loves. Many, many of you. Look at this page. Knight. Queen of Swords. It's like I'm speaking here with a Sag. Yes, you could be dealing here with an air sign, but I feel here the Sag I'm speaking, you could have strong air in the chart. You could even work in communication, or you could communicate a lot. As we have all the air signs here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarian. The thing is, your intuition here told you, leave your ego behind. Don't hold on the old patterns, on the old things. Release them. Let the flow coming in. Let the energy to enter into your life. Allow the change to come. Don't resist this change. Learn the things that the times are changing. And you are changing with them. That really brings the success, the abundance. So what the energy I'm, I'm picking up very, very strong for you, Sag. Some of you, yes, you could deal here in the past with an air sign or someone who have heavily air in the chart that you needed to learn to move on from them for whatever reason, the way they've seen life, the way they pers pursue life, and so on. And give yourself the chance to embrace the change and see something else or someone else. For some of you, you could hold on for a couple good months or even years on someone and you realize that 
I'm stuck. I'm not moving forward. I'm just in one place that I don't see growth. And that's because my ego tells me so. Now I need to follow my intuition and my ego to move forward. So that is one thing what I'm seeing here. For some of you, this is all about you, darlings. That don't lie to yourself that maybe, maybe something will change. There was a situation that, yes, consume you a lot, could consume your, your nerves, your ideas, your money. But the universe told you, you learn a lot from this experience. Let it go. Because if it's meant to come, it will come to you at the right time. So whatever here you consume yourself was not for the time you were creating it or doing it. So it's good to let it go. You learn a lot. You grow a lot. Now it's time for you to move forward. Because whatever here you put back then, you consume yourself back then, you can implement in this new adventure that really requires effort, but yet will bring you abundance. Because you know, loves, many, many times we are, we are going through certain difficulties to say that or certain situations to to understand that whatever we go in here is leading us to the path we need to be. And yes, it's uncomfortable, but you know, when it's uncomfortable, that's when we grow. And we know here when to leave something and when to hold. I feel here there is a Sag here who could hold on on something for way too long. And now they realize that I gotta allow the change. Even I'm still afraid of. But I see you putting effort into Yes, we do have all the eights here. And eight speaks of the infinity. Because for some of you, you could left with nothing. Because infinity is all or nothing energy. Sometimes. And sometimes, you know, there's infinite abundance over there. The way you see it, that's how you get it. What the spirit has to say to you. What is the message behind Six of Wands, Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Magician. And underneath we have the last core card, King of Swords. Hold your vision. Hold on on your plans. And allow the new things one after another one. Whatever you put there, loves, it's coming. Because you have all it takes to get there. And it seems here that this month is coming. You might think here if you can handle it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can move through it. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. It's quite a big here, loves. But I feel here for many, many Sages that come in today for this reading.
it's kind of a tiptoe energy towards the new energy, the more cha challengeable situation you can be into. As well, I have here a message that if there is a Sag here who is separated from someone or needed to leave someone because they cheated or they lied or, you know, they brought certain things here to the table that was not beneficial to you. No, there is someone out there that comes and offer their love and you will be mesmerized what real love means. But I feel here you manifested that. You are entitled to have whatever the universe brings to you this month because you ask for it. You heard this phrase, you ask, you are offered. You don't, there's never going to be. And one advice from my beautiful spirit animal oracle for my Sagittarius, we have the number 46, which zooms up to one, peacock spirit, let it shine. Underneath, we have the wombat spirit. Be at home. Be yourself. Be you. Do you. So the things will show up beautifully. All right, loves. So indeed here, a whole new life comes in. And yes, to not forget, I'm speaking with a single Sag, not someone who, yes, you could be having someone in the past, you could be dealing here with someone in the past, you could be even married or committed. And what I want to say, say to you, Les, yes, we have all this nines here, the nine of swords, the nine of wands, we have two nines that is missing that I want to say about them, which nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. If you want to be independent or on your own or on your feet, you have the ability starting this month. So don't forget that opportunity loves. Be confident in that loves. And know that. Blessings loves. This is what is coming forward towards you this month of February. Love and light. Namaste.